Welcome to the 2023 Geico ESPN High School kickoff at the Broward County National Football Showcase. St. John Bosco and St. Thomas Aquinas have created an assembly line of high-level college football and NFL talent. They play against each other in a top 10 showdown with number four St. John Bosco in from California to the home field of St. Thomas Aquinas right here in Fort Lauderdale. Glad you're with us with Craig Hobart, Connor Onion, Morgan Uber down in the field here in just a few minutes. Now, the winning has followed the elite level prospects these two schools have, state champions in both Florida and California last year. Partner, this is a clash of high school football titans, always contenders in the state race within their prospective states because they built winning cultures and they have so much talent. 18 different players committed to Power 5 uh, programs amongst both of these two teams. I'm out there. It's always tough to find quarterbacks late in the process. I think he's going to be a riser and wind up being a steal for somebody here during the fall. Uh, St. Thomas Aquinas showed pressure and screen into it. And a big gash on third down for Stacy Dobbins. First down. Talent. Rodriguez showing pressure on the edge. Sanchez throwing away from it. And it's caught. Twist and catch for Odom. And he gets out of the tackle. Odom off to the races. Touchdown. 50-yard hit for Daniel Odom. And 50-yard touchdown from his quarterback, Caleb Sanchez. And working on the outside. Do a nice job. Head around, finding the football, adjusting, and then you just see him, even for a sophomore receiver, being able to use that size and strength, be able to push a defender out of the way who tried to tackle him high and to take a, uh, extra hits or put kind of, you know, as they put extra mileage on the tires, so to speak. And he's going to be back this year, too. They got a deep running back stable as well this year, so he won't solely have to keep the uh, carry that load. Good play. Sanchez play fake Dobbins on the screen Dobbins with an alley and couldn't crease it all the way but close to another first down we are shy of the sticks third and one on second down and ten Sanchez winding up and drills it in middle of the field inside the ten yard line it's a first down with Tommy Maher offense is out Three backs with Caleb Sanchez. Everybody stacked up at the line. Final play of the half, and Jones will not get there. After all that, St. Thomas Aquinas holds serve with Kendrick Burley. The most anticipated second of football goes St. Thomas Aquinas' way. Yeah, that defense really responded there. Down in the yardage numbers, when you see Burley just bust through, get right down the line. Outstanding job tackling low. Pre-game speech he gave his team yesterday, gen generating some positive energy. Defense was flying around in the first couple of minutes of this game. And Nick Rodriguez laid a couple of thunderous hits before this penalty extended a drive and led to the touchdown. Yeah, both of these teams have just been really physical on defense, but there, the super soft Daniel Oda for St. John Bosco going up, making the catch. Moving defender aside and scoring, and then right before the half, this St. Thomas Aquinas defense stepped up there. The pit commit, Allen Bryant at safety and off the defensive end. Kendrick Barely combining to stop St. John Bosco from getting in the end zone and extending that lead. Well, St. John Bosco stuffing the run in that first half. Eight rushing yards with two uh, running backs or type game. Score might have to come on defense. Lead to kick it away. And Bryant up to get it. And he's got a crease. And sifting through the big man. Lead blockers out in front. And he's inside the 25-yard line. Allen Bryant, who's going to Pittsburgh. Not just a hard-hitting safety. Big, dangerous return man. Had that big tackle right before the half. Coming up with the stop. Indorf taking a shot to the end zone. Gets St. Thomas Aquinas on the board. The junior Andrew Indoor hanging in there. There, taking a shot downfield, just a beautiful throw. An executive order from.
the desk of James Madison. Give me points. Touchdown for Madison. And St. Thomas Aquinas has snapped the shutout with their four-star wide receiver making an acrobatic touchdown grab. A little deja vu, third down and medium. Another screen and another conversion. And Stacy Dobbins loose on a run after the catch. On first and ten, quick pop over the middle. And Dobbins with back-to-back -back catches. Face and toward the right upright. And Lee uh, plays that wind well, knocks it through and gives St. John Bosco the lead back. Number one quarterback last year, Malachi Nelson, freshman now. And then 2026 class, we'll have Juju Lewis. That takes a funny bounce. Ball is free, clanging around, and they'll have to unpile this. Flag behind the pile. And St. John Bosco has it back. Good class, number two class, Ohio State, as of the latest rankings. Over the middle, tight window, and that is hauled in. Okay. St. John Bosco spreads it out. Sanchez to the end zone, touchdown. Madden Williams extends the lead to two scores for St. John Bosco. So St. John Bosco unaffected by the penalty on the illegal shifts. And for the first time in this game, somebody's got a two-score lead. And Madden Williams has friends and family in Chico, California today, watching with the grill out outside in SoCal. They just saw their guy score a touchdown. Sanchez hooking up with Madden Williams. Ten-point lead. Going to Missouri. Gives credibility to the point St. John Bosco thinks that he's a power five player. Here's Lyle with the crease. First down and more. Putting on the juke, then the spin to get out across the 45-yard line. Biggest run of the day for Jordan Lyle, a 26-yard gainer. Yeah, biggest run of the day. And Marcus Lee from 36 yards out. He can extend the lead to 13. And the strong-legged kicker does just that. There's a flag, though. Game before that last incompletion, he had completed 10 consecutive balls. He is at 340 pass yards and two touchdowns. And that was a hard-earned 340 yards. That wasn't an 80-yard strike here, a 70-yard strike there. The young man's going to need to ice that arm after this game, but found a way to work within the offense, take what the defense has given him, and distribute that football. Again, a young man who's waited his turn, sat behind two quarterbacks who went on to power five programs, entering this game with only a Nevada offer. But I, I, you know, I think watching the tape and then watching him today and talking with the St. John Bosco uh, coaching staff and head coach Jason Negro, they've, they really feel like he's a power five talent. And quarterbacks are off the board. If you look at the uh, ESPN database, I think there's only two quarterbacks with a high three-star grade or above that are uncommitted. So to have a player like this potentially burst on the scene throughout the fall, the back room to add numbers, scholarship numbers, and now saying was a big get out of California. And the ball is in the hands of Sanchez. And as we mentioned, that's a name to watch now on the recruiting trail. One of those players. Look, he is not a guy, Caleb Sanchez, with a big social media presence. He's not out there putting out his huddle highlights and tagging people a bunch. Well, his huddle highlights will get out there. Yes, but he's doing it with his play these first two weeks. 340 yards, completing 37 balls today, and leading his team to a top 10 win, snapping the 27-game win streak of St. Thomas Aquinas. For Craig Hobart, Morgan Uber on the sidelines, Connor Runyon saying goodbye from Fort Lauderdale. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for IMG and St. Joseph Prep next.